Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day here in Asheville and I wanted to do a little video on the three tools I use to create our new skirt design. I think these skirts are gonna be for spring. Um, we did the first layer last week and I did a video about that, but here I wanted to show you what happens when we do a second layer. So the tool that I'm using here is an Indonesian janting tool. And of course, the uh, closed captions are not going to spell that right, but it's T-J-A-N-T-I-N-G. Yes, janting. Um, anyway, this is a janting tool by Jacquard, and this is a size small. So off camera to your right, there is a pot of hot wax. If you've watched my videos before, you're familiar that we use beeswax with a little bit of paraffin. But anyway, I am using this skinny janting tool um, to go over some of the lines or some of the, uh, the space that doesn't have any lines. We, um, we started with white skirts and then everywhere that you see that beeswax color on the skirt right now, they look like slightly yellow lines that's what's going to stay white. So we wax those lines to keep the white color of the skirt fabric and then we dyed all the skirts with a low water immersion uh, dye bath with lavender. <clears throat> so the skirt is now a lavender skirt with all those really cool patternings that you can see and what I'm doing here is janting over the lavender. So this line that I'm drawing right now, that's going to be a lavender line. Um, and when I go off camera there, what I'm doing is I am dipping the janting tool back into the hot wax to heat it up. Sometimes even though there's still wax in the container, um, in like the cylinder part of the tool, the air temperature has cooled the tip too much. So I'm going every other petal here, and then, oops, there's a mess up. There's another mess up, but it's okay. I'm gonna go over that. <laughs> so I'm janting uh, lines in every other petal, and what that's gonna do is create lavender lines. So now that's about all I can do with the janting tool. It's time to switch to a paintbrush. So I'm using, oh nope, it's time to switch to a cookie cutter. I'm using a plain aluminum cookie cutter. And what I'm doing is I'm heating it up in the wax bath and making it nice and hot. This is troublesome for a lot of people because the hot metal of the cookie cutter will heat up and you can feel it in your fingers. So, but it's nice because it stamps the same shape over and over. So if it gets too hot, you have to set it down and let it cool. And there you can see it dripped a little bit, no big deal. Um, we're gonna paint right over that with the wax. So we dip the cookie cutter in the hot wax and we press it to the fabric. And there I'm covering up those mess up lines so you won't even see them. I've got two more to go. It's definitely getting hot on my fingers and I'm relieved to set it down. <laughs> um, at this point, it's nice to pop the hot wax off of the board. I'm using a campaign board. Um, and now I've switched to a long handled paintbrush. Important things about this is that you want a paintbrush that has natural bristles. If they're plastic, they're just going to melt in the hot wax. And my apologies for strange background noises. It's a really loud uh, day at the toy store next door. <laughs> They've got a, a doll that sounds like um, it's, it's, it has a very passionate noise that it makes. Um, and some, some customer of theirs is playing with a doll a lot right now. So what I'm doing is I'm dipping the paintbrush in over and over and over um, to keep the wax nice and hot. It's funny that I decide to do audio on a video the day that there are absolute tantrums going on through the thin walls next door. But we're keeping it real here at the studio. So I'm painting in with hot wax, uh, and what this means is that these petals are gonna stay lavender, and they'll have a beautiful crackle going through them. There's a lot on this design that I'm doing with the paintbrush. Um, next, I'm filling in those little 
bubbles that I made up there. And you can see that these are going to be um, lavender discs with white dots inside of them. So when I brush over the fabric here with the hot wax, it looks like it's turning black, but really that's just the hot wax fully penetrating into the fabric. You are in trouble if your wax is too cold. You'll know because it will stay that beeswaxy yellow color on the top of the fabric instead of turning this deep dark gray color that it is now. This means that the wax is penetrating entirely through the fabric. And if it's too cold, it's not going to do you any good to put hot wax on top of cold. Um, you're just going to be caking it on. So now we're done with this part. And it's a good time to pop the work off of the board because there's a lot of wax that's cooled. And now we're going to keep going with the paintbrush. I really like these long, natural, bristled brushes because they can cover a lot of ground compared to um, short bristled or fake bristled brushes. We don't want synthetic. We want natural bristles. Um, and so look how much wax I'm able to push across the fabric. Yes, you have to re-dip often with a paintbrush, but this one's a really good one. So if you're looking for a batik brush, natural bristles, longer bristles are good. And I really like the long wooden handle because A, it can sit in your wax pot without falling in and B, it just gives you more to grab when the surface is really hot. So there we go. It'll be interesting to listen to this video and see if you can hear the crazy noises from next door. There we go. And I'm popping it off there. So last thing is to add a little bit more detailing with my janting tool. Some dots. Dots are lovely. They're really fun and easy to do and I just love their look. The janting tool delivers just tiny little dots. So there we go. Every single skirt is going to be a little bit different because we're doing them all by hand, one at a time. So of course, if you were to look at the previous skirt, you would see little differences, different drips and splashes, different heavinesses of lines. But now we'll just continue on. Thanks so much for watching.